Hello, welcome to Frank Nutt's YouTube channel. My name is Claire, Claire Muir, and I'm a free machine embroiderer. Frank's asked me to come on here and share a video with you, giving you lots of hints and tips about free machine embroidery. So I do hope you like it. Hello, I'm Claire, and I'm going to show you how to make one of these. So what's one of these? Well, it's a pot holder for a poncettia or any other Christmas plant. What a great way of giving somebody a gift, but actually showing off your machine embroidery. Now appreciate, because it's, it's just really a plant cover, you don't want to do too much embroidery, but it is just quite effective, the embroidery that we've got on here. And to make it, make it extra special, we've got some ribbon on there as well. Uh, and here's another design. So I thought you might like to see these, and I'll show you how to do them. So the poncettia is actually three lots of fabric on there. And what I've done is chosen, I've just chosen three different red fabrics and I've got my pattern. So the best thing to do and how I went about it was to have a look at a poncettia and just really study them and do some drawings of the actual petals and then break it down. And I've broken it down into three layers. So we've got a, a you know, the outer petals, the inner petals, and then the, the tiny little ones. And I've just chosen three different fabrics for the poncettia. And I've chosen this lovely patterned cotton. We've got some spots for the middle layer. And then we've got a plain silk for the middle. Any red fabric would be fine. If you had, if you wanted to do it all the same kind of red, that would be good as well. But what I did was put some bonder web on the back of the fabrics and cut out the pattern pieces. And one by one, I've ironed them to felt. So this is what they look like. So here we are. And I've just done some machine embroidery around the outside edge in black. And that's just what I'm going to show you to do. If you have a closer look at that, hopefully you can see the veins on there. And I'll just show you how to do it. So I've set my machine to free machine embroider. And I've got black thread top and bottom. You know me, I like my Madeira Classic 40 or Madeira Rayon. And I've got my machine embroidery foot on here. So what I'm going to do is I've bonded all the fabrics down. Now it's on felt and to be fair, felt is quite substantial with these fabrics on. So you wouldn't necessarily need to put it in a hoop, but I'm quite fond of putting things in a hoop. It just makes it that little bit st sturdier. And it means I can just maneuver and concentrate on sewing my veins. So it's personal preference. I know not everyone likes using a hoop and I don't want you to think, oh my goodness, I must use a hoop. My felt's quite thick, so it is quite substantial, but I'm just putting it in a hoop for ease. So I'm actually just going to go in here so here I am and I'm actually going to sew the outside edge of the poncettia and the veins. And I'm going to do the larger petals first. So they are separated by the next layer, if you like. So it's a good idea to do one at a time. So the way that I approach it is that I pop the needle in and bring up the bobbin thread and I'm sewing on the inside edge. I don't want you to aim for on top of it, but just a few millimeters on the inside edge. And I'm using a straight stitch. It's free motion embroidery. And I'm going quite fast with my foot and then I'm moving the hoop ever so slowly. So I've got that control. And I'm also working towards me so that I can see where I'm going. Once you've stitched a few stitches, you can cut those ends off. And you can also then turn your work around and come back, uh, as I say, sewing towards you. So let's do that. Oops, doesn't matter if you wobble, that's all part of its charm. Now, the thing is, I'm actually coming up against the next layer of petals, so I don't want to sew across those. So if I turn it round again and head up back here, I'll show you what we do next. So do a second layer, and it doesn't matter 
doesn't matter if your second row of stitches doesn't line up exactly with your first. And when you get to the tip of the poncette here, do a straight line down the middle and go as far as you can before you hit the petals of, a, of the other layers. And then what you can do is sew some veins. So go there, back to the middle, there, back to the middle, uh, along the middle again, there, there, to the tip, and then you can sew all the way back. I'm not turning it around, I'm just going for it. Okay, uh, looking at that, I could do with actually another row of veins. So if I actually just cut the thread and then I can actually bring up my thread there and do another vein. Bring up my bobbin thread, needle back in, oops, and do a few stitches there and there. That looks better, doesn't it? And so if I can cut my thread, if you don't have a thread cutter, I've just realised, if you don't have a thread, cut, thread cutter, what you can do is if you bring the needle up out of your machine and lift your presser foot lever up, that actually releases the tensioning mechanism. You can then sort of make a loop like that, it makes it easier to cut it off in a minute. And then what you can do is go to where you want to be, pop your needle back in, lower your presser foot lever, which this is done automatically, and I'm ready to sew that row and back again and so um, I can cut my threads but what I just wanted to show you is how you can just cut those loops and there we are so I just need to work my way around and do all of these and when I get to the middle the veins are actually going to show even more but then that way you get up really nice detail. So I'm not going to sit and stow all of that, I'm just giving a little taster, but when you've done that what you can do then is cut it out of the felt and I've hand sewn some beads on here. They could have done with being a little bit more yellow, if I'm honest with you, but gold beads would be nice and if you don't have any beads, if you've actually got some paint, uh, some fabric paint, you can put some little blobs of yellow fabric paint. And by fabric paint, I mean the ones that are in tubes uh, so that they stay slightly raised when you blob them on the fabric. But I'm sure you can improvise if you don't have any beads. I'm trying to get you to use up what you've already got. And I think it's a great way of, of doing that. And then what I've got around here is a piece of velvet ribbon. Any ribbon would look good around there. And it's actually made using cardboard. Now, it's a shape like this, okay, that I've cut out. So here we are. I've actually folded this. So if you actually press that, you can see that I've doing the fold and then that will enable you bend it round and tuck it in. And you just need to make sure that you tuck those bits in when you poke it through the other side like that. Okay, doesn't matter which way you bend them. And then you tuck it in there like that. And then when you've done that, open them out the other side. There we go. To there, tucked in. Probably did actually tuck them the other way earlier. I've just probably forgotten that I did that. There we are. And then at the back, you'll see that you've got one side that's nice and neat so that you can, you can do that. There we are. And then just, just curve it around gently and you get the nice shape, which is brilliant. And then it's really neat at the back. And if you want to, you can just put a bit of tape to secure it, but you don't need to because when you put your poncetta in, it just keeps 
keeps its shape. So I'll show you what I did. I've just bought my poncettia, cut down the plastic that it came in just so that it stops the soil coming out. And I've just put a rubber band around there and a bit of tape just to stop um, it getting in a bit of a mess. And then you can work out what the best side is of your poncettia and just pop it in. And this will work for cyclamen and all sorts of lovely Christmas goodies. And then there you are. How lovely is that? If you've liked the video, then please don't forget to give it the thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, I've got my own YouTube channel, so you can subscribe to that if you like. It's Claire Muir Free Machine Embroidery. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you.